Hey everyone, today I'm showing off my latest Mayonez Regis 6. <laughs> So it's no secret that I love my own guitars. Uh, they are my absolute favorite. And ever since I got my first one in 2016, I just had to have another. Uh, the first one I got was a seven string baritone and I needed a six string, of course. And this is the one I ended up picking up. <laughs> I got it about nine months ago now, and I got it secondhand. Uh, if I'm getting this right from the serial number, it was made in 2014, so it's 2020 now, so this is a six-year-old guitar, and uh, it is a little beaten up, a little rough around the edges, but I got it for a fantastic price. <laughs> So the official sort of model name of this guitar is the Regius 6 CWMM. I might be getting that the other way around, it might be MMCW. Uh, and what that stands for is Misha Mansour Claro Walnut. So this guitar was designed by Misha Mansour from Periphery. And funnily enough, this particular one was signed by the man himself uh, at a clinic. Uh, by the previous owner. Unfortunately, I haven't met Misha, but you know, maybe someday. And uh, <laughs> the CW stands for Claro Walnut, uh, which is referencing this beautiful top. Um, and the headstock is matching, of course. <laughs> Yeah, the top on this guitar is crazy. When when I bought it on eBay, um, there were pictures of it, and it didn't show that in certain lights there is a crazy flame. Um, and I'll try and get some pictures of it because the lighting setup in here isn't too great. But I'll try and show you some pictures because it is absolutely stunning. And when I saw it in person for the first time, I could not believe it. Um, <laughs> I couldn't believe that the guy wanted to sell it to me. But uh, yeah, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so that's what that's about. It's the Clara Walnut. <laughs> The specs are it's got a ash body uh, with a mostly maple 11 piece neck through. Um, I couldn't tell you what the other woods are unfortunately but I'm sure you can find that all online. There is a lovely bird's eye maple neck which once again the lighting setup in here is not great so I'll try and get some photos of that but the bird's eye figuring is really nice as well. <laughs> In terms of hardware, we have a Schala Hans Bridge, which I've never had a guitar with a Hans Bridge before, but it is fantastic. It has a lovely sort of tight, snappy sound, uh, which really balances the sort of neck through design uh, of the guitar. And it just, it's just a very balanced sounding guitar and it's still very rich and resonant, um, but there's a nice bright top end to it as well. It's just fantastic. <laughs> Pickups, we have a set of bare knuckle juggernauts uh, covered with the laser engraved uh, covers 
And it's quite funny actually because I believe these guitars stock are supposed to come with bare knuckle black hawks, which I love those pickups, they're my absolute favorite. Um, but of course the juggernauts are Misha's signature pickups. Uh, so it makes a lot of sense that whoever ordered this particular one would uh, get the juggernauts in it. Uh, and they also sound fantastic. I've got a, a bunch of guitars that have got juggernauts and I really love how these sound as well. They're a little more mellow than the blackouts, so you get some lovely cleans and mid-gain tones. Something that I did to this guitar recently is it actually came with Spurzel locking tuners, uh, which I really did not get on with. Um, I just really didn't like them. And uh, I recently swapped them out for a set of um, hip shot open gear. Uh, you know, there's the sort of standard that come on my owner's guitars these days. So yeah, it was definitely the right thing to do. Uh, the tuning stability is much, much better and they're just smoother and I just, I prefer everything about them, honestly. <laughs> So one other tiny mod that I did uh, that a lot of people have surprisingly pointed out, didn't expect anyone to notice this, is that this knob is actually from a Dean Dimebag ML. Um, and the reason I did that is not to get traction when you're turning the volume up and down, but it's so that I can easily uh, access the coil split um, because I use the coil split a lot and I was finding that with the the speed knobs, there's no real grip, um, as opposed to like a metal knurl knob or whatever you'd call them, a dome knob, I suppose. And yeah, I just like took this off one of my old guitars and just thought, yeah, that's great, it works. It's, you know, quirky little thing. <laughs> and yeah, it's functional. <laughs> So in closing, I absolutely love this guitar. It is gorgeous, it plays amazing, it sounds amazing as well. It is absolutely rock solid. I took it out for a few shows last month for the first time and it is just totally, totally rock solid. And yeah, I just thoroughly recommend if you ever get the chance to pick up a Monus guitar and try one, uh, just do it. Uh, you will become addicted as I have. Uh, this is my second one and it certainly will not be the last. Uh, so yeah, just shout out to the guys at my owners who just know how to build a solid, solid instrument. And yeah, thank you for watching the video. Leave a comment if there's anything that you want to know about the guitar or anything that I haven't addressed. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.